Well, hello, YouTube. It's your girl, Jane, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about the eight luxurious fragrances that I do not think you should blind buy. So I want to just go ahead and shout out at follow my siage on Instagram because she created an Instagram reel about it. And I just wanted to give her the credit because she's the one that I saw post about this first. So thank you so much for posting it, girl, because you inspired me to make this video. If you guys are interested in seeing what my eight choices are, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing, stop, and leave me your sin of the day down below. I would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you are watching this video. Also, if you are new to my channel, hello again, my name is Jeanne. Welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from... Moi. Now let's hop into this video because I'm so excited to talk to y'all about these amazing luxurious fragrances. As always, I am going to start off with my scent of the day and today's scent of the day is the amazing Sweetie Aoud from the House of Raja Parfums. This fragrance to me is a masterpiece. Now this fragrance is one that you should not blind buy because first of all it's pricey so you should do your research and try it out. But the other reason why I feel like this fragrance is not one you should blind buy, it's not safe to blind by because of how complex it is and I feel like some people won't like the oud that's in this fragrance. This oud is very strong, it's very potent, but the gourmand notes that's in this fragrance definitely balance it out in my opinion and it makes this beautiful unique fragrance. I absolutely love this scent overall and a little bit goes a long way so you will get your money's worth. Sweetie Aou to me is a very spicy aromatic fragrance. It has some resinous touches from some amber and of course it has that beautiful woody oud. It's so amazing. So on the top you get some artemisia. I think that's how you say it. It's like an herbal smelling fragrance. It's very herbaceous along with some bergamot and then in the mid you get some rose and then in the base you get a ton of notes. Of course you get some oud, you get some patchouli, you got some live denim in there and this fragrance also has a quality of like a pastry or a bakery like a croissant type of vibe it's so beautiful it's just delicately sweet it's just bready and delicious and it literally smells like you are walking into a bakery like with buttery croissants it's absolutely stunning this fragrance took me a while to really enjoy because of that oud is very prominent but once i got over that i just really started to appreciate the different characteristics of this scent it smells amazing on my skin now a little bit goes a long way because if you go hard on this fragrance you will definitely choke some people out and it's not pretty don't do what i did but i think about a few sprays will be great with this one and this scent is very sophisticated to me this is a black tie event to me this is very unique it's very bold so if you're an individual that likes that type of vibe then you would love this and this is also a very complex gourmand so if you are tired of the same old gourmands that are out there I say check this out but do not blind buy it okay get a sample try it out wear it on your skin and see how you feel the performance on this is incredible the sillage projection everything is exquisite but I would say that this would not be a safe blind buy because this is not a crowd pleasing fragrance so this is Sweetie Aoud from the house of Raja Parfums now the next next fragrance on my list is one that I absolutely love. This is one that I think more people need to talk about. More people need to wear this fragrance and it's so sexy. It's so bold and it's so delicious. And this is Tobacco Rose from the house of BDK. I want to do a full BDK house review because I'm starting to collect fragrances from particular houses and I have enough fragrances from this house and a discovery set to give you guys the full rundown on the house. I actually just posted my fragrance Dubois house review so I'll go ahead and link that up in the eye in the sky. Tobacco Rose is absolutely stunning, you guys, but it is not safe to blind buy because I don't think that this is crowd pleasing. I think this is a very bold, delicious scent, and I think that this is the type of fragrance that is polarizing, kind of like Marc Jacobs' Decadence. That scent to me is very polarizing. Either you love it or you hate it, and that's how a majority of these fragrances are. This scent to me is absolutely incredible. It performs amazingly. All of these fragrances I'm going to talk to you guys about have amazing performance, so I'm not even going to harp on those, but the actual scent profile for most of them turns some people off but they can definitely tickle some fancies out there as well so this fragrance to me is a beautiful sweet 
fruity, woody fragrance. It has some chocolatey nuances to it. It has some spice to it. And it also has this resinous vibe to it as well. This fragrance opens up with a beautiful, juicy note of plum. And if you guys know me, I absolutely love plum and fragrances. It's one of my favorite fruity notes. And you also get some lemon and some pink pepper in the opening. So you get some spice. You get that beautiful citrus from the lemon. And then you also get that juicy, delicious, ripe Plum. It's so sweet. It's so juicy. It's delicious. And then going down into the mid, you get some rose, you get some chocolate, and some cinnamon. And for me, that is where it's at. You definitely get the rose, hence tobacco rose. You definitely get the rose in this fragrance. But with that fruitiness of the plum, with the chocolatiness from the chocolate, from the warm spiciness of the cinnamon, they just work so beautifully. And then in the base, you get that beautiful tobacco with some patchouli and some lab denim. For me, I get this resinous quality deep in the dry down as well. And I also think that the patchouli adds to the chocolatey vibe of the fragrance overall. And it adds so much depth along with that tobacco. So the tobacco to me is kind of like a cigar tobacco, but it's not ashy. I find like tobacco vanille kind of has like this ashy, you know, spice to it. This is a very warm, spicy, it's very enveloping and, and amazing. But I feel like this fragrance could throw some people off. Because when I first smelled this fragrance, I thought it had a little bit of oud in it, but it didn't. So if you don't really like that type of vibe then you won't like this scent. I think that chocolate though with the tobacco and the rose, I think that kind of adds that like slightly unique oudy quality, but this does not have oud in it at all. Ashley hates this fragrance. I'm just gonna be honest, she does not like when I wear this because she said it smells like it's incense or oudy and she doesn't like those types of fragrances on me. So I wear what I want, but sometimes if I wanna please her, then I won't wear this fragrance. But this is one that I definitely could see people hating, but a lot of people love this fragrance as well. So this is Tobacco Rose from the house of BDK. Now hopping into this next fragrance this is one that I really really did not like at first and I kept trying it and kept trying it and then I fell in love with it because I got used to a very unique note in this scent and this is Rosé All Day from the House of Gallagher Parfums they actually sent over a whole bunch of samples and I want to do like a first impressions on the samples that they sent me so be on the lookout for that I'm really trying to get into these houses and really tell you guys what you should get what smells amazing what I love because I want you guys to really really start investing in some of these houses because they're amazing so this fragrance to me is absolutely stunning it's a gourmand lover's dream but it has a very unique note in it that I think will turn some people off it turned me off at first as well but overall this fragrance is incredible it's so delicious it smells so good I love it so much so rose all day to me smells like a very sweet honeyed apple pie it also has this like warmth from this spice it literally smells like your parents or your grandmother is cooking an apple pie in the house for the holidays like that is what this is however this fragrance has a note of stainless steel which is very 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 prominent in the opening when you spray it you get this like metallic type of vibe and for some people it might be great but for some people it's a turn off and for me it was definitely a turn off because I'm like how can this fragrance smell so delicious in the dry down but it opens up like a metallic zing you know but I've gotten used to it and I've worn it and I've worn it and the performance on this is amazing a little bit goes a long way I find that when I overspray this it's not pretty with most of these that's the case but yes this is one that I spray a little bit and it smells amazing and this will last you forever so this fragrance has the notes on the front so I'm just going to read off some of the notes so it says that this has notes of apple crisp plum which I love dark rose brown sugar tonka beans and stainless steel so you definitely get this delicious gourmand apple pie-esque scent it also has like a slight powderiness to it as well from the tonka beans but overall I just get this very sweet delicious fragrance and for me the rose isn't a green rose it's not a fresh rose it is like a darker rose so I really really understand what that dark rose note is but overall this scent is amazing you guys I really really love how this fragrance works on the skin and for me I get this very brown sugary cinnamony type of like warm spiciness from the scent on my skin but that opening with that stainless steel just oh it's just not for me overall though I have gotten used to it so I can fight through the first five minutes but yeah, this scent is definitely one you should test out. This is one you should not blind by because I don't think it's safe. I think it will turn a lot of people off in the opening. But please let this fragrance dry down, try it out, and let me know what you think. So following up Gallagher Parfums, I'm going to talk to you guys about Baklava.
Silva from the House of Pearlescent Parfums, which is actually Gallagher Parfums sister company. So just a quick background, Pearlescent Parfums was created by the founder of Gallagher Parfums and his wife. So basically his wife was saying like, hey, Gallagher Parfums is on the more masculine side. There aren't many like unisex leaning more feminine fragrances. And that was something that they wanted. So they went ahead and created Pearlescent Parfums and they released Baklava and Aqua Rose as their first two launches. And I think they just released another fragrance called Midnight Jasmine and I would love to get my hands on that one because that one sounds like it's up my alley. I am going to be doing a dedicated review on Baklava and Aqua Rose because they kindly sent it over to me. So I'm going to let you guys know what I feel about those. But this fragrance is one that I don't think everyone would like if they blind bought it because to me personally, for me, I love gourmands and that's exactly what this is, but this is a very unique gourmand. This is not your typical gourmand. This is not your easy going gourmand. This is not a spray and go gourmand. This fragrance to me is extremely unique and for me personally, I think that people may not like this fragrance if they blind bought it. Baklava to me is a very sweet, nutty, powdery, musky scent. It has loads of patchouli. It has almond. It has some honey in there. So you get this very, very beautiful scent. And for me, I was expecting this to smell just like baklava, but it doesn't. To me, this kind of smells like um, olive oil in the opening, and I think that would turn people off. So this smells more like an olive cake to me versus baklava. It's delicious in the dry down, but in the opening, I do get like an olive oil type of vibe, which kind of threw me off. And I was just kind of like, whoa, like, I I wasn't expecting this to have this like slightly green aromatic type of touch to it but I really really like it. It has become very addictive to me and that olive oil scent does last throughout the fragrance but it's definitely in the background and more of the nuttier qualities come to the forefront and the sweetness from the honey. So I do think that you should try this out. This is one that I really really enjoy but I don't think that you should blind buy this fragrance. You should totally test it out first. And y'all know I am all about blind buying, but yeah, these are not safe at all. So this is Baklava from the house of Parlescent Parfums slash Gallagher Fragrances. Hopping into the next fragrance, we have one that is definitely a cult favorite. People love this scent, but I also know people who don't. And this scent is pretty pricey as are most of these fragrances. And this is Oud Satin Mood from the house of Maison Francis Kirkjean. This scent is absolutely stunning in the bottle like he can do no wrong. He could do no wrong with these bottles man. Oud Satin Mood is a sweet vanilla rose oud combination. It has a slight powderiness to it as well from the iris but yeah this scent is beautiful. The reason why I say that people may not like this scent is because to my nose at least, to me at least, I do get a little bit of like a menthol-y type of vibe from this scent. I get it throughout the whole fragrance but I love how jammy and sweet and delicious the rose is in this scent you guys know I love rose and fragrances like I am a rose lover to the day I die and this scent oh it's just like the perfect jammy rose it's not too sweet but it's sweet enough to where you get the sweetness you know and all genders love this alike so I think that this is incredibly incredibly gender fluid which I love so I don't think that this will be a safe blind buy one because it is pricey so I think the reason why I get this like menthol -y vibe is from the benzoin that's in this scent the benzoin can kind of come off to me as like a medicinal menthol -y, minty type of vibe you also get some rose some Turkish rose and it's beautiful you guys I really really like this scent a lot like a lot and the oud in this fragrance is extremely clean I do not get like an animalic oud or like a skanky oud at all this scent is very refined it's so poised and this is also like a black tie event type of fragrance if you guys are interested in my list of like black tie special event type of fragrances i'll definitely put that out to you guys because new year's eve is coming up we have holiday parties coming up and i have some bangers in my collection that i think will be staples for those type of fragrances for all genders so if you guys are interested give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below but this is oud satin mood from the house of maison francis kirkjohn and this fragrance is not blind by safe in my opinion it's expensive and you could kind of get that minty menthol vibe that I get from this scent. Now hopping into this next fragrance. I love this scent and this house is a house that I'm so interested in. This is my second fragrance from the house and this is Poets of Berlin from the house of Wilhelm Perfumery. This fragrance is a beautiful scent. Now I know, I know there are people who talk about this fragrance but this fragrance has some unique touches that I don't think everyone would love so I don't recommend blind buying this fragrance at all. I highly recommend 
recommend trying a sample of this because this scent is extremely extremely unique in certain aspects so this fragrance to me is just a beautiful fruity vanilla woody fragrance it has some aromatic touches it also has a little bit of earthiness and some powderiness and I also get a bit of a green touch as well this fragrance opens up with some blueberry and some lemon which is so beautiful so delicious so bright however quickly after that first blast you start to get the mid which is a very heavy note of bamboo I've never smelled bamboo in a fragrance and for me it gives off this very green aromatic type of vibe it's so unique it's so interesting but when I first sprayed it it kind of threw me off it threw me off <laughs> and then following the bamboo you get some orris and typically I do not like orris in fragrances it's like a unique powdery scent I'm not much of a fan sometimes it can be pretty sharp as well but in this fragrance it works it works <laughs> it really does work and then going down into the base you get some vanilla some sandalwood and some vetiver so the vetiver also adds a little bit of like a green woodiness then you get that creamy delicious sandalwood I absolutely love sandalwood and fragrances and the vanilla helps sweeten up this fragrance a little bit which I think really helps this fragrance be more gender fluid I think that if the vanilla was lacking then this will be more of a masculine scent in my opinion it would lean that way but that orris along with that bamboo can kind of throw people off especially if you're not a fan of those types of notes this fragrance may not be for you so that's why I feel like you should definitely try the scent out first because this scent is not blind by safe in my opinion but if you are interested in purchasing this fragrance I do have a code with Twisted Lily and you can get some money off so check the link down below and I'll have that code up here on the screen okay. so this fragrance is one I don't think you should blind buy at all at all but it's beautiful it's absolutely stunning so this is Poets of Berlin from the house of Velhem Perfumery all right y'all so I'm gonna dive head first into this fragrance because this scent is one that I absolutely love this is one of my favorite gourmands in my collection period period I would definitely repurchase this fragrance over and over and over again and this is Italica from the house of Zerjoff in the Casa Marati line this fragrance is stunning but I know that there are people who hate this scent and I know there are people who love it this to me is not a safe blind buy one because it's pretty pricey but two it's because of the scent profile and some people might get different things than other people as in all fragrances but I absolutely love this scent now they do have a fragrance called Lyra I speak about it a lot that scent to me is a little bit more entry level it's a little bit more mass pleasing it's a little bit more likable I'm almost certain if you like sweet scents if you like gourmands you would love that fragrance this scent is one that's a little bit more on the unique side Italica is a sweet vanillic creamy lactonic delicious scent it has some almond in there but it comes off a little bit like cherry too like this has some fruitiness in there but it also has that nutty quality too and I really really like that about this fragrance how you get the sweetness from like this fruitiness you get some vanilla you get just a whole bunch of things going on but they stay very directional in the gourmand category they don't stray too far which I really really like I think that the added lactonic quality from the milk note adds this silky creaminess and I think that that really drives home the gourmand factor of this scent I know for a fact I know for a fact a lot of people would like this fragrance but I think that some people wouldn't like it just because of the strong almond note that kind of comes off as a little bit like a cherry type of vibe too but this scent is so beautiful you guys this is like a cherry pie like that's the best way I can describe this this is a cherry pie so delicious it's so mouth-watering oh it's amazing it's amazing so when this fragrance opens up you get this very warm spicy saffron along with some almond which adds that nut quality and some milk and then in the mid you get some beautiful toffee it's so amazing it's so sweet but it's dark it adds depth along with some vanilla and the vanilla to me is not too sweet because the toffee kind of takes over the sweetness and then in the base you get some beautiful sandalwood and musk and I think the sandalwood adds to the creaminess of the milk that's in the top but this is a fragrance I definitely can overspray and I do not get tired of it the bottle is just literally a masterpiece one of my favorite bottles in my collection so this is Italica from Zerjoff in the Cosmorati line and I don't think that this is a safe blind buy but it's so beautiful it's so stunning and you should definitely try it out so last but certainly not least I kind of cheated on this one because this one technically is a designer fragrance and not a luxury fragrance all of the ones that I've mentioned so far have been niche or indie house fragrances and this fragrance is a designer scent but the designer is like hella expensive so this 
this is Tom Ford's Noir Pour Femme. And I also think that this may be discontinued. Don't quote me on it. I've just been hearing it around and it's really hard to find a bottle. And that's why I try not to talk about this scent too much on my channel because you know, you can't really find it. And I love it so, so much. But this fragrance is one that I do not recommend you blind buying because this could go really, really good or it can go really, really bad. And when I first smelled this fragrance, I wasn't much of a fan. I mean, I liked it, but now I love it. So this scent to me is a very sweet, delicious, vanillic scent. It has some woody qualities. It has this balsamic quality, this lactonic vibe with some warm spiciness. It's absolutely stunning and it's super duper unique. This has a note of kofi in the mid and kofi is like a nutty ice cream that you can get from the Middle East. I literally craved it throughout my pregnancy with my daughter and it's just one that I love so much. It's so delicious. It has like this vanilla pistachio type of taste to it. It's just amazing. And in this fragrance, you can definitely smell it. Definitely smell it. So on the top, you get some citrus with some mandarin orange and some bergamot. And then like I said, in the mid, of course, you get that kulfi note along with some rose and some other floral notes. And then in the base, you get some beautiful amber, you get some vanilla and you get some sandalwood. And for me, I just really love the way that this scent is extremely unique. I think that this will be amazing for a special occasion, but this is great for like a date night type of scent too. If you want to smell different from the others, this is definitely a bold fragrance in my opinion. And I really, really like this scent a lot, but I do not think that this is blind buy safe. You cannot just blind buy this fragrance and expect to love it. This is one that you have to try it, know that you like it, wear it on your skin, see how it performs, see how your body chemistry meshes with it and go from there. So this is Noir Pour Femme from Tom Ford. All right, you guys. So that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. These eight fragrances are so beautiful to me. I love every single one of them, but for whatever reason, the fragrances are not blind buy worthy for me. So if you guys are new to my channel, I do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot. And for today's video, I want you guys to leave me the grapes emoji because I just want to see grapes in the comments. Like why not? I want to start like testing you guys with fruits. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just a weirdo so just leave me the grapes emoji so I know that you guys made it until the end and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video again I love you guys so so much and I will see you all in the next one